Is this what eBay was in 1995? No, just walking around with candlelight. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Let's go. Your favorite pie. And matching beverage. Oh gosh, this is tough. Um, also, good morning. Pie. Dutch apple pie? Dutch apple pie? Your father would be disappointed. Why? Because you said Dutch. They put the crumbs on top. They do. And what would you drink it with? Milk, obviously. Oh, nice. Oat milk for a non-dairy option. Oh, very classy. Mm -hmm. Clever. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you want to tell them what we're up to today? Yeah. So uh, I got up before Jess woke up and grabbed photos of 10 shoes. And we've already knocked those out. We each, I took six. Susan took five, four. They're up. They're listed. And now we are actually going to be working on this room again. So you remember my saga of organizing the room. Well, we're back at it today. I saw it. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Yeah. So the goal is um, to figure out how much money we have in this pile um, and to basically clear it out and process what's in here before we get into the garage. We also have some things that we've been working on kind of casually this weekend. So Mona mentioned we did get these shoes up today. We got these shoes up last week, so we got to get those to the loft. We did get this from a neighbor who dropped it off that sold it to us. So this is brand new sealed uh, Minecraft Lego, always a great thing. We did start packing a little bit already. And then we do have a uh, box that came back with the wrong address. And we all have this return and we have this bows that we purchased. Uh, just a couple days ago, they were going to test and get listed. So that's what we're up to today. We also have a couple things from the same neighbor that he dropped off. I was able to test all of this yesterday, so we'll get that listed as well. We're not perfect. Uh, we get behind on things. We have some things that we didn't want to deal with, whatever the case is, uh, but we need to get this room cleared out. We got most of the logistics of the garage figured out, so now we need to just pull the trigger and get this stuff out of our house as much as possible. But first, let's go put away some shoes and pull some orders and get those packed. Up to the scary loft we go. So this is where most of our um, long tail inventory and shoes are. So long tail meaning lots of clothing and um, you know, things like wheels and lunch trays. Can I pass this one to you? Mm -hmm. Whoa. The loft uh, is pretty handy for that. It is a little bit of a pain to go up and down each time, but whatever. And then down here is all of our unprocessed inventory um, and things that we're working on. Mm -hmm. And if you can smell that smell, that's uh, motor oil from the uh, snowblower of all things that just leaked out randomly. So we're gonna pull some orders and uh, kind of show you uh, show you around. It's been a while yeah. since we showed it. So yeah, mostly clothes in the center here, labeled. Uh, it's been nice. We started a new inventory where we take photos of the label first while we're photographing clothes, and then we know the SKU number right away uh, instead of going to back going back to put it in. So those fit nicely here in the center. Uh, eventually we'll have racks, obviously separating them, but this is fine for now. And then the shoes are all around the sides, as you can see, and we have enough space to walk around and grab stuff. Yeah. Nice. So here's some like longer uh, ladies' boots, things that don't really fit well in these racks. These are just Amazon um, shoe racks. They're not really anything special, but they work really well. So there's all of our inventory for shoes. So let's uh, pull the ones that we've sold and let's get them downstairs. Uh, the commerce are in here. So we have a pair of kids' bogs that sold for us. Um, Salconies, I think downstairs. That's the only other one we needed to grab from Shoe Bay. Okay. So these uh, A6 GTs sold on Poshmark. And then these Dansko sold on eBay. Dansko, of course, a great brand to look out for. And then we still have to pull... Let's see if the cell phone is in here. 
So from Poshmark, we have a three-pair bundle of jeans, a pair of sweater, a pair of sweatpants, a backpack, a Patagonia top, Victoria's Secrets top, the Asics we just pulled, the Nike we already packed, a pair of Hudsons, and a pair of boots. Are these the softs? Yeah, so those are in there. Those sold for 70. They came from a, um, a big shoe buyout, or almost like a what's the term I'm looking for? Wholesale. There it is. So here we have part of that bundle, the David Baton Buffalo. One pair, two pair, and then there's a pair of axles in the basement we have to get. Victoria's Secret Pink. It's right here. These just sold, these Express Roccos for 29 shipped over on eBay. And some other orders we're pulling. So there are the Express jeans, this Cafalon is in the basement, we have to grab the CD book is in the basement, Mona's Point of Duluth, we have some Sharpie boxes, some Nike Air sweatpants, some trays, and these trays are pretty interesting, only paid $8 for this whole stack, two already sold for 20 shipped, and now two of these bottom ones sold for 30 shipped, so obviously all profit henceforth which is pretty nice for something so random. These are vintage USA made lunch trays. And you might be thinking like, how'd you guys know? Like, how'd you know to pick up lunch trays? Well, we didn't. We looked them up by the brand and the style and we found that they're decent sellers. So we picked them up for eight bucks, which is just a no brainer. Individually, they're probably worth about five bucks each. So you can do the quick math if you run all the way down. So I'm putting away the shoes that we listed this morning. Right now our inventory system is color-based, which means we have blocks of similar colors. That way we know which section to go to when we're pulling a particular shoe. We have reds, pinks, purples, blues, greens, and then around the side here, as you can imagine, there's a lot of blacks and browns, and then grays and whites are together as well. We don't know if this is a system that we are going to stick with. It works right now because we don't have a huge volume of shoes. So we just have a few spots to pick from. Uh, we might do it by size later on. We'll see how we do it when we get in a bigger space. Also, if anyone needs a pair of shoes, feel free to check out our Poshmark closet, Hustlin' Hooks, same as eBay. So very easy to remember. Were you gonna say something to the camera or? Nope. Okay. Come on down. <laughs> For that posh bundle, I am putting it in a 12 by 12 by 8. However, one thing I like to do when it's clothing, if it's going into a cardboard box, is I still like to put it in one of these uh, shipping bags, poly mailers, because especially now in fall, it might be rainy, might be, get left on someone's porch, you never know. So it just adds that extra layer of protection. And then to be efficient, one thing that I do is I grab all the boxes that I know I need. I lay out all the clothes and shoes so then I can pull them. And I assemble the boxes all at once, tape them all at once, so I'm not picking up the box, putting down the tape measure. I know it sounds silly, but those little efficiencies really help and add some time back into your day. There's a fall storm happening. It's there is a fall favorite. storm. Absolute favorite. It's dark out there. Yeah, buddy! Darkness. Um, quick tip on pots and pants if you've not seen this before. All I'm going to do, this is like a double boiler, blah, 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 lid. From Calflon, I'll pop it up on the screen. So I'm just gonna put a piece of cardboard in between the first and second piece, second and third piece, bubble wrap the glass lid, and then just uh, craft paper that we get in rolls off of eBay, around, and that's it. Pots and pans, some of the easiest things to ship. I'll show you when I'm done. Here's what it looks like, almost done. You can see the bubble wrap. I did invert the lid. Now I'm just gonna take more craft paper, stuff it on top and close it. And Mona's shipping a pair of boots on Posh and all she's doing is scoring the box. She's gonna cut the corners and then she's going to uh, reduce the amount of fill paper. We don't really care that it's going the big size because it is Poshmark so we don't pay the shipping. But we are trying to reduce the amount of paper we use and that's definitely helpful. What a beautiful day, eh? Oh, my favorite. Feels so cold. Nice. We're also starting a new YouTube channel. We're gonna cover weather. <laughs> Mostly uh, 
rain and telling you when it might rain. What do you think of all this rain, Toddy? Something you're into? Kind of? So here's uh, about 90% of our orders. This weekend was pretty light in general. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. We didn't really list much on the uh, main account. Uh, we have two eBay accounts, so the main account, we haven't really listed much since Thursday, and that reflects in sales, which is, you know, it is what it is. This is something that you have to realize with eBay. So figuring out how to, um, you know, either list heavily beginning of the week or, you know, break it out in every single day, you know, X amount per day. That's totally up to you and your business model and what you like to do. This weekend, we spent a lot of time together. Uh, we did some family activities and uh, friends activities, and that's perfectly fine. Next up, Mona is going to go ahead and get everything labeled. I'm going to pack a couple more things, and then I'm going to start sorting through that room, grab some lunch, and we'll go from there. We just lost power. So uh, today just got more exciting, that's for sure. Jesse's telling mom all about it. Ah. This shall complicate things. So first thing I'm thinking of is how we're going to print all the labels. Um, so what I'm going to do is activate my Wi-Fi on my phone, my hotspot, get the laptop to work, get that done right away before it runs out of power so that we're done with that part and then we'll just go from there. This is uh, now turned into a spooky vlog, a ghost vlog. So we did get the Wi-Fi to work, which is good off of my phone. Um, so if you find yourself in a situation, there's a tip for you. You can use your hotspot, and as long as that's running, um, we can at least get the labels done, which is important, hopefully. And uh, we'll see what the rest of the day looks like. I'm not really sure what we're going to be able to get done now, um, but Mona did find some candles, so we're going to light some candles. So at least our uh, our house will smell like you know 35 different scents. So that'll be nice. While I'm doing this, uh, down in the comments below, uh, name a time where the power went off and it was the worst timing for the power to go off. I'm very curious to read those um, stories. So if you have a story, please do tell. Not working? Yeah, I'll come take a look. It might, the cell phone tower might be down too, I'm not sure. Yeah. Is this what eBay was in 1995? No, just walking around with candlelight. <laughs> I've been on eBay for 45 years since mm -hmm. since before it's time. All right, so what is it saying? Just can't reach. Just, so the, yeah, so this page will come up, but then these are the messages I'm getting. It says it's on. It also, it says it's on down here though. Yeah. It's just kind of confusing. It says connected. Do you remember any other times in your life? The worst time the power went off. That's why I asked. Times? Yeah. No, I always like it when the power goes out, to be honest. Because usually I've been at other jobs, and then you can't work. And then uh, <laughs> and then I always just really like lighting candles. We lived in the country. We would tell like ghost stories. It was, it was legit. Yeah, that sounded like a good time. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, have to figure this out, keep you guys posted. I just got an alert from the power company that it's hit, their estimated time of service is 4.15 which is pretty much the whole day, which kind of stinks. A couple fortunate things is that we did start to pack earlier today, so that worked in our favor. I packed up the last box. We are using this natural daylight here, so that's also fortunate that we have that. And we're just making the most of it. We're gonna do what we can do. Adin's gonna go over to his parents, finish printing the labels and dropping stuff off, so at least we'll have our orders out the door. Other than that, it's just sort of a sit and wait game, process what we can. So the nice thing is that my folks live really close by and they do have power. 
So I'm headed over to their house. We have uh, about a third of the labels printed. Obviously that's not gonna cut it. I'm gonna go do that, get it all labeled, dropped off. And then after that, uh, back to the homestead and we'll have to figure out what we can do. I still think we'll be able to put a pretty big dent into that project of clearing everything out. Um, it'll just be a little bit challenging with lighting, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so good news. Um, I did get all my labels printed at my folks' house and my dad loaded us up with some fresh uh, produce, which is always kind and nice of him. Uh, dropped everything off, now it's off to go to UPS to drop off the bigger packages. Um, we did have an issue too with Mercari labels not scanning because of that 4x6 issue. So if you saw Mercari when you print your label, it prints as a PDF file, then we convert it into a 4x6 by basically you know cutting or snipping the screen. If you guys have any recommendations to fix that, um, what's, what's happening is that once the label is snipped it distorts it slightly and it doesn't allow them to scan it which then doesn't upload the tracking automatically so for the two mercari sales we had we had the gentleman at the post office go ahead and type in the numbers that way we know we're covered uh, back to the homestead and uh hopefully our power is back on our power ended up coming on at about 1 30 which is great so we are back at processing what we can out of this room and clearing it out and reorganizing it back yeah Nothing too, uh, I mean, it's, it looks pretty rough, but it's really not that rough. I mean, it's pretty rough. So what I'm going to work on first is all of the uh, camera stuff that's in here and here. Looks like Mona's doing liquidation stuff, if I were to guess. Yeah, she's going to do some hair stuff. Okay. Bulk hair lots. Bulk hair lots, if you're interested in hair stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that's coming up. Uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll see how much uh, money we actually find in here. I uh, have a good idea what's in here. So we're going to basically just pick it up, uh, look it up, test it if we can or cannot and make a decision on if it's worth um, selling as is or redonating or throwing away just so that we're not just kind of like lazy, being lazy and picking something up and then just like putting it back where we found it. So we're going to work on that. We'll give you an update later. We are back on track. We've both taken some photos. We're listing now. We've got a good amount processed, which is great. It's funny how you can let this stuff sit for a really long time and then you just spend a day doing it and it starts getting done. There's only a couple boxes left. Feels good. We also have a return over here. So I'm gonna open this up. They said they just changed their mind and didn't want it. So we're gonna see. We're gonna make sure it's in good condition. If it is, we'll be good to go. Um, I'm gonna open that up and take a look. Here it is, and their return reason was, wasn't what they expected, which is fine. I guess that happens to everybody once in a while. They did return it in great condition. It didn't come out of the box, so we can sell it just as it is. No problem, we're gonna just go ahead and refund them. Another thing I'm processing is this return. Uh, it says address not known. So we have to open it and figure out even what it is. So we got these shoes back and Essentially what we're going to have to do is figure out where they sold, which platform, and then the address and match it up and make sure everything is good to go. If it is the right address, we'll have to contact them and say something's up with it. You know, it could be a typo on their end on which platform they have their address in on. If it is the wrong address, that'll be on us. But as long as we generated the labels through the platforms, we should be good. Those shoes, ended up being sold in June. So it actually took a while to figure out where they were from. We had to go back onto the spreadsheet and find them. June 8th is when they shipped out and that's a long time to be returned to sender. We'll have to reach out to that buyer. It's no longer on the solds, but I, I think I remember us messaging with him. So we're gonna go back in the messages and reach out and figure out if we can just send it out again, basically. But that's the plan. So this entire box is recycling, not working, um, not worth it, damaged, things like that. So a good amount of stuff cleared out. It was funny, we had two of these dirt devils and neither of them worked properly, but you can part those out. This is stuff that uh, we're, we're gonna keep for tools. This is stuff for further testing, a couple of phones. And then this is stuff that's ready to be listed. This is stuff that we still have to go through and figure out if we're listing it or not listing it. And then, of course, everything left in the room has to be sorted as well. 
Yeah, so I think uh, we did a pretty good job overall putting a good dent into it. Uh, we'll have to continue it tomorrow. Yeah. In this box is like video game stuff. This is the working Xbox. So that we're going to keep that for testing. A couple of extra controllers, things like that. And then here is that return one that processed some stuff we've already listed out of the dead pile, some blank CDs. These we only listed on Facebook because I think there's a restriction on eBay, so I don't want to risk it. This was in a death pile or whatever you want to call it. We listed this thing. Uh, we paid half of 15 for it and it ended up being very... Uh, a very good pickup because it's worth over 100, probably close to 150 plus shipping. Got this listed, got this game listed, got a few things listed in here as well. So overall, good progress. We are super close to 20,000 uh, subscribers here on YouTube. So if you haven't already, uh, subscribe and uh, click the like button if you like this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in our next one. Take care, everybody.